guys, welcome back to the channel. This week is gonna be a really fun week because it's my first week of recipe testing for my upcoming cookbook coming out next year. <laughs> <laughs> this all happened because a publisher saw one of my Ghibli recipe videos on Reddit. A few months later, here we are. I finally signed my contract. So I'm super excited and hope you are too. This book is gonna feature some classic anime like Dragon Ball Z, One Piece, and of course Ghibli films. But it'll also feature new anime like Jujutsu Kaisen, and we'll even dig into some manga. These are just examples. In total, there will be a minimum of 75 recipes that I want to shove into this book. It'll be like nothing you've ever seen before so I hope you guys tune into every single video to watch little snippets of the upcoming book. Anyways, let's get started to this week's video. We're gonna feature ground meat in anime. Welcome to day one. Today we're gonna tackle One Piece. Play the clip. <laughs> In the anime, he used tuna meat from the carcass and simmered the bones for the sauce. But tuna bones are not available in Vancouver. No, they always come with like no bones already. Oh, do you know why? They always come in like a big loin. So basically they have no bones inside. So I made some adjustments to make the recipe more approachable. And that really is one of the themes of this cookbook. I want you guys to feel confident with the ingredients most available to you. In the anime, Sanji talks about using the guts of the fish. The reason why he added the fish guts into the meatball is because he wanted to introduce a bitter flavor. Introducing bitter flavors to savory dishes in Asia is actually quite common. Our bitter element for today will be coming from an orange. This is the safest solution that I know will work. And citrus goes really well with seafood. Then I added some classic flavors to complement the fish and ingredients to bind and crisp the meatballs. I highly recommend that you use an ice cream scoop for this. It just makes the job a lot easier. And also make sure that your portions are standardized. Then I smooth out the meatball to give a delicious appearance. Pop it in the freezer and hit it for good luck. While our meatballs are in here, that'll give us some time to make our sauce. We're gonna base this dish off sweet and sour sauce because I saw that the sauce was red and it also had some red, this is green, <laughs> some green and red bell peppers in the anime. I weighed all the ingredients to ensure that it can be easily replicated. This sauce is gonna have something taboo in it. The sweet and sour sauce that we're gonna make today includes ketchup. We're not wasting anything in this recipe. We'll also be using some orange juice from our zested orange. Everything this recipe will be listed in the description box down below. This ratio of sweet and tangy with a twist of savory dashi powder is addictive. I recommend deep frying the meatballs because browning all sides in a shallow pan could take more than 7 minutes which will definitely dry out the meatball. A lower cook time by deep frying will allow us to keep their bounciness. Mmm -hmm. my god, oh my god, oh my god. In retrospect, I added way too much orange zest, which I've then revised, and that's the beauty of recipe testing. And there you have it, tuna meatballs from One Piece. So for day two, I went to my friend Rob's place. Him and his friend Franco are willing to try my foods. I was really glad that they were willing to accept this opportunity to be my guinea pigs. Here I'm making green onion and ginger chicken soup from Jujutsu Kaisen, and here are the kind of comments that they contribute. Yeah, it's Asian. Think I should add more things to it? No, you just need to add it. Franco is a trained chef and Rob... His favorite food is sour keys, so I guess that just says a lot. <laughs> some anime mentioned their recipe which I replicate to respect the anime, and then I add some flair to make it taste even better. And I also demystify the techniques that they use, so you don't have to guess. Also in day two, utilizing some ground beef, we're gonna be making some Tokyo Ghoul sizzling hamburg steak. Tokyo Ghoul is an anime based on eating humans, so I finished the steak with a red wine pan sauce to resemble blood. Not pictured because it was getting really late and I wanted to feed the boys, and they chopped this down so quick. So I didn't get to show the end product of this, but that was because I knew that I didn't have to because we will be hiring a professional photographer for all of these photos and we'll also be adding some cute illustrations from a really amazing, talented artist. 
Anyways, without getting too cheesy, on to day three. I'm here. I have to be quiet because one of them is sleeping and I'm I'm not trying to ruin his day. <laughs> I bought some papaya. Papayas are probably my favorite fruit. I also bought some banana bread to feed the boys while I work because I take super long. The last dish of this week is from the Way of the House Husband Manga. I chose this one because it was so unique. Like, there are so many croquet recipes out there, but this one was featured in a bun. This twist has really made it feel very homemade and very in theme with their anime. No ingredients were listed in the manga, but it was mentioned to be from a meat master. So I made my meat ratio really high. I cooked the liquid out to concentrate the beef flavor. This is 10 minutes in. 15 minutes in and 20 minutes in. I added seasonings and a secret ingredient and tasted for quality control. I used just enough potato to bind the meat and this took a lot of trial and error until I found the perfect ratio. Here I am finding out that it doesn't have enough potato so I boiled some more and it comes out perfect. Then I found out that flour isn't needed for the spreading process. Usually breading requires flour, then egg, then breadcrumb, but here's a special case where it doesn't need any flour. Then I fried it off until it was golden brown. I finished it off by adding the crispy beef croquet into a buttery brioche bun with sauces. Rob, a photographer, ended up having a one hour photo shoot with this because he cringed at my photos. Here are our results. I tell my photos look better, but what do you guys think? Who won this one? Hello guys! <laughs> There are a few tweaks that we would like to make because we kind of already ate it. <laughs> it's hard not to eat things that you're supposed to taste because you know, you're supposed to taste as you go. But, um, yeah. Okay, wait, my battery's literally dying. Okay, so I can't. So I already know what it tastes like, so I can't. My battery ended up dying, but it was delicious and moist. It was like a crispy beef burger. Mm. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to subscribe. This week we featured some ground meats. Next week we'll be featuring some seafood. I was trying to go for like puffer fish, but <laughs> okay. Make sure you guys subscribe and hit the like button. And I can't wait to see you guys next week. Thank you so much again for supporting me throughout this whole journey. And I will see you guys later. Bye!